Hi guys, welcome back to the third video on how to build a user authentication system using Firebase Auth. And in this video, we will be focusing only on how to verify an email address. So before the user clicks on login button, we need to see if the email address has been verified or not. And to do that is really easy. So once we pass the email address and password to sign in with email password method, and once the task has been completed, before we redirect the user to user profile, and we need to check if the email address has been verified or not. So before that, we need to create an object with a type of Firebase user. So Firebase user, and then we will call it user, and then equal to Firebase auth, get instance, and then get current user. That means the current logged in user. And now we need to check if the user dot is email verified. So if it has been verified, we need to direct the user to user profile. If not, then we need to send an email verification link. So user dot send email verification and then we need to prompt a message toast dot make text and then main activity dot this and then the message should be something like check your email to verify your account and then toast dot long and then show the message all right to see our result let's run our app one more time all right so let's provide the email address and then the password and let's click on login. All right, check your email to verify your account. So let's check our email. All right, so as you can see, we have an email address from uh, Firebase, and this is what it tells us to verify your email. Please click on this link. And once you click on that, your email has been verified. All right, so let's run our app one more time to test our result. So MetaMaze 20, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, and then click on login. All right, guys, we have done it. Uh, it's really easy with Firebase, as you can see. All you need to do is to check if the email has been verified or not. If not, then just send an email verification. And Firebase will do all that for you. And in the next video, we will try to create a button here to log out the user from the logged in session. So see you guys in the next video.